Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs at the Binding of Isaac. This is one uh, I'm mined deep to get at. This is from like a video that was two weeks old, but it was a top comment from a user, Soul Ninja. Very, very simple item run. We have the shears, and as you might expect, we also have infinite item power. And this is the only condition of this run, basically. As you can see, we can create a multitude of shears that will follow us around, even though it looks like there's only like one there occasionally. Uh, the conditions of this run, it's originally stated no items, uh, but I think that's gonna be a little unrealistically difficult for me because I mean we're only gonna have three health for the rest of the game if that's the case So I think the the stipulation I'm gonna make is uh, no items except HP upgrades. Oh, come on shears You know what we can do to get that tinted rock. I'll show you what we can do to get that tinted rock um, So only HP upgrades uh, from bosses is what I am going to roll with So we're just gonna run into this room and then not use the shears and we might even not have to use a bomb Nope, we still have to use a bomb sadly uh, to get at this Tinted Rock. But I'm interested to see how this run works. I think it's gonna work reasonably well. Nice interception there, Isaac. Uh, the only question is whether or not, like, we're gonna be able to do crazy damage here in the early game. Like, a lot of my challenge runs, I think this run is gonna start, uh, quite easy. But it's gonna get very difficult as we start having a lot of enemies, and a lot of enemies that require a substantial amount of dodging. That is not an HP upgrade, not that it would make a difference, because Rage doesn't benefit me at all in this situation regardless. If we can get a, a Meep Boy along with the Shears, that's like the most useless upgrade I could possibly imagine. Anyway, Famine didn't even stand a chance there. Like I said, this early part of the game should be really easy, but I'm interested to see how it works out as we get a little bit later. I am going to take the bomb instead of the key, uh, because the bomb can be used on Tinted Rocks, which can obviously give me some more health, whereas the keys, I'm not really going to use for anything at all, really. Like I said, only HP upgrades that I come across naturally, uh, i.e. from bosses, or I guess occasionally from golden chests, but those are, are pretty rare. So we're just gonna take this key and then move onwards. Or basically just try to bum rush the boss as fast as we can, I guess. And like I said, it might look like it's super easy right now. I imagine that that is gonna change as we get a little further ahead. Yeah, it's not that there's been a dearth of challenge run suggestions lately. It's not like people have stopped suggesting challenge runs. Just like through a weird coincidence, like I just uploaded an Isaac video and I've already gone through all the old ones to look for top comments. Uh, and the uh, top comments recently have been like discussions about whether Book of Re Revelations is ideally better than the nail or if there's any kind of like concrete hierarchy to Isaac items which is partly my fault but I'm like oh come on vote up challenge runs in any case here we are with a run that I probably should have done a lot earlier because this is absolutely the type of run that I enjoy starting out very strong uh, and then getting probably effed in the A as we get further along you heard it here first this is the kind of challenge run I like the one where in the end you get effed in the A or in the end you get effed in the A end I guess uh, so I lost a spirit heart there, but that's okay. We're almost finished the floor here. Now what I can do from a defensive standpoint is basically just summon a ton of shears and then kind of hide out over these rocks. Well, there's not going to be rocks on every single level, so I have to be a little bit cautious about that, of course. So we got a regular version of Monstro. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this dude is going to be pretty much screwed. Uh, every shears that we create kills him just a little bit faster. We do have a deal with the devil, but we also have an HP upgrade free for me to take, and so far I would say that those have been two of the easiest first few floors that we've had to deal with. Didn't go to the deal with the devil because there's really no point in doing so, but in any case this should be another easy-ish room, although I oftentimes suck at dodging more than you would expect given my, I was gonna say skill in the game, but that's not true. Now here's a tough situation, I need to get these guys over onto uh, land, because they put themselves in a situation where the shears can't get to them. I guess that's the other thing. The no tears condition always comes with a caveat, and the caveat is uh, if the guys, like the enemies, ever end up in a situation where these uh, meat boys can't hit them, then too bad for them. This is almost kind of similar to a, uh, what run was I doing? Like the Tammy's head run where I had infinite item power. By the way, I actually wanted to do, I'm going to have to use tears on this room, I actually wanted to do a Tammy's head run uh, on this one. Someone suggested a really good one which is like Tammy's head. Infinite power, Ipecac, my reflection. So ideally, you would just have uh, like Tammy's head constantly spewing out these like basically reverse homing uh, explosive shots. Unfortunately, Ipecac is one of the only items in the game that was terrible that does not work with. Uh, you know what? I think I could use shears over here. Just, uh, I tried to create him like on top of that. Anyway, um, yeah, Ipecac is one of the only tier effects in the game that does not work with Tammy's head somehow, which I found out the hard way, unfortunately. Uh, but in any case, we'll try to make something along those lines happen at some point, because I was really interested in doing that run. Okay, so we're just gonna do the same thing here. Take out these two douchebags first. And then go for this guy with our tears. I hate to do it, but there's basically no other way around it. I think maybe we could, like, fly over him and then just try to drop 
uh, like a shears inside of him, but I don't think that would actually work because there's not enough space. Anyway, we're ignoring that item room as I've mentioned many times. I'm just gonna spam shears. The only trade-off right now is do I want to spam shears because it makes me stand still for kind of a second? So I should only spam it when I'm like not dodging. Like for example, uh, right there. But anyway, so far so good. And I think against like Blue Baby and Isaac, this is gonna be interesting because they're gonna be doing a ton of uh, shooting. I mean, I, there's obviously a chance we don't even make it to those guys, but for now, this has been pretty goddamn easy. I'm worried that maybe it's a little imbalanced. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, that's the whole point of these challenge runs a lot of the time. To entertain, inform a little bit, uh, and find out, you know, what the, the true balance in the Binding of Isaac is, I guess. Super easy so far. This is Caves XL, so we should be getting uh, a lot of work done here, basically. We're gonna get down to the depths or Necropolis immediately, and that's why I'm really starting to worry about things. That and, uh, you know, the womb when damage obviously doubles. So we could just take this money, that's the other benefit of course of having the shears, is the occasional ability to do free flying to pick up this stuff, which I absolutely should have used on the first floor to pick up that key, now that I think about it, and possibly unlock that golden chest. Oh well, hindsight is 2020. That's not true, most of my hindsight is at best like 2060. Is that how eyesight works? So like the, the second number is higher, that's bad, right? You see at 60 feet what other people see at 20 feet. No wait, that sounds good. You see it 20 feet the way the normal people see it 60 feet. That sounds more normal. One Shears is capable of destroying these guys pretty quickly with the help of a cube of meat. And we are getting a ton of keys for whatever reason. I wonder if the Lucky Toe has something to do with that. I still, like, the idea of luck in this game is very nebulous to me. I don't totally understand it. I just kind of go along with it when I have the opportunity. Uh, the Shears can't help me here! Actually, that cube of meat might have saved my life. Or at least a little bit of damage. Obviously, we are just going to pop some shears and then basically use one as protection and the other one as an offensive juggernaut. So, I'm just going to run backwards. Some of those guys have honed in on him. Beautiful. And maybe there, finally, we have two boss rooms that we're going to be dealing with. And I hate this room because these guys always get over the gaps, which makes it a hard thing to deal with. But in any case, it's going to be Gertie. This seems like a good fight to have a, a lot of shears for because Gertie always has a ton of HP and annoys the bejesus out of me. So we're gonna create, you know, 30 or 40 of these. Spacebar probably isn't even gonna work by the end of this video, but hey, Gertie's dead. We just gotta go after these. Oh, we're getting some serious slowdown here. That's okay, though. Uh, we will take the HP upgrade, because I basically I made my bed with respect to that condition, and I'm gonna lie in it, uh, for better or worse. Right now, it's been for better. I'm not gonna try to make it sound like somehow I'm the victim in the situation. So I feel like the shears are gonna do work here, and this is gonna be over very quickly. Little Chad is gonna continue to give us red hearts, which is useful, you know, that was very quick. We do have a deal with the- Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up, I'm sorry. That was totally my bad. Not like- You guys have heard me say on many, uh, videos that Little Chad is probably, like, my least favorite item in the game. So trust me, I was not picking that up maliciously to, uh, help myself out. Inevitably, though, that's like plus eight dislikes on the video right there. Oh, well! YouTube drama. Uh, we're just gonna continue moving onwards here. So far, so good. I believe the suggested endpoint for this run was Mom's Heart, but I have a feeling that is gonna be too damn easy. So, can we actually- oh man, these guys are just gonna get created over there, so I can actually just hang out over this gap and have basically, uh, no issues. This is another room that could potentially be damaging. The thing is, I- the one downside to this run, and we're starting to notice that, is that I can't control which enemies get focused. We're gonna take this pill for sure. That sucks. Oh, I guess it doesn't suck at all because we're not using our tears. Uh, but normally, and this is an underrated benefit of, you know, having autonomy, is that I can control which enemies get focused at, at any given time. And what this means is that when there's an enemy that's close, that's a threat, I can obviously focus on them and not have to worry about it. We're not going to take the left hand. I absolutely hate that trinket. We are going to get this, though. Um, whereas with these guys, these guys obviously do a ton of damage. However, uh, sometimes they're going to focus on enemies that are further away as opposed to more direct threats that could do damage to me. So that's the only thing that could really kind of stop my progress here, I'm thinking. Uh, but we'll see as we move along. Again, it would be pretty silly of me to complain right now, given the uh, excellent conditions that we are faced with so far. Although I am out of Spirit Hearts, and that Tinted Rock basically did nothing for me. We're gonna obviously roll with the Two of Hearts from now on. Because that is going to be uh, a very beneficial card, especially if we manage to keep it to the end. Basically, if you can hold a full health pill or a Sun card, or even a lover's card sometimes, a two of hearts card. It can like double or, you know, add 25% to your strength for the boss fight, which is incredible. Uh, for those last boss fights in the game, especially. Like you're fighting Blue Baby, you think there's a 50% chance you're gonna win, or like you're 50% as strong as you think you need to be to win? Well, maybe you can actually make it happen now. I don't know. I'm not gonna run the mathematics on that. 
That's just the way I feel about it. And if you don't like it, well, feel free to bring up some data to back you up, because that is respectable, I would say. I can fly, so I might as well pick up all of this. We finally discovered our boss room, and by finally, I mean, well, not really that finally. Didn't take us that long to discover it, so it's not the end of the world. And so far, we're doing really well. Five health containers. We're going to be getting our second cube of meat, which is absolutely worthless for now, but it does open the possibility of a third cube of meat, which is not worthless. It function basically similar to the shears. Which is funny, because I can basically create like a fifth level meat boy just by hitting the space bar, but... You know, I'm not going to look a third level meat boy in the mouth, because he probably has awful breath. Uh, I should not be taking these cubes of meat, though. I'm not taking the cubes of meat, I'm only taking HP upgrades. This is, of course, the one time when the deals with the angel are constantly giving me great items, like Halo, all stats up. And what was the other one? It was, um... The Dead Dove, which is basically like the light side version of Spirit of the Night. It gives you, uh, Ouija board, or, sorry, Ouija tears, like, spectral tears, I rather. Uh, as well as the uh, ability to fly, which is, of course, incredibly useful. However, you know, I'm trying to stick to it. I took the cube of meat, I took little Chad. Luckily, single cube of meat and little Chad are, you know, fairly garbage items in their own right, so it's not like I'm trying to, you know, scam you guys by taking, I don't know, three sacrificial daggers or something. Although, if I get a Halo of Flies, I'll absolutely take it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it's not like those are contributing factors to the success of the run, is what I'm trying to get at here. The only contributing factor to the su success of the run right now is the fact that A, I can fly automatically uh, by way of using shears, and B, uh, shears are doing, like, incalculable damage. Obviously, it is actually calculable, uh, given the fact that it can be calculated. What? Why are the shears just standing still? There's so much shit on the screen right now, it's actually quite confusing to me. Grandfather fly, come- oh my god. This could be difficult, actually. This grandfather fly just refuses. There we go, finally. Uh, and actually, for the first time, I think I'm going to have to use some red hearts. Unfortunately. It's okay. And again, these shears are... The AI is getting me a little bit wrong. This is almost like me against the AI. I've, I've basically just got to stay alive long enough for the AI to properly target. That being said, uh, when the AI actually does manage to hit somebody, it basically Fs their day up real good. There's that boss room. This is going to be a source... I dropped the bomb by accident. Totally by accident, I promise you there. Uh, just fingers slipped and hit the E key. So we have the Two of Hearts card. We're fighting Mom here. I think this is going to be one of the easier boss fights in the game because it's basically just crowd control and then, like, burst damage on a single target, which is going to be very easy for the shears to coordinate and take care of. Uh, so I'm just going to basically spend all my time hanging out over some rocks and mashing the space bar. We're going to get some wicked slowdown. That's probably enough shears, I would say. Let's just focus on dodging for now. And we'll just hang out. This should be it right here. Indeed it was. We'll take our HP upgrade. And try to avoid any more slowdown. Jesus Christ. I created like 30 there, so that's fair. Uh, we're almost back at full health, so we're going to go down to the next floor. It's very quick so far. You know, a 13-minute mom kill is absolutely nothing to sneeze at. But we're going to go through some kind of pink glitch or womb XL here. I hate that this happens as often as it does. Hopefully this is something that is fixed in Rebirth. Uh, as I understand it, that is a game that is going to be... Well, I mean, I guess they can't really say this, but... Plan to be programmed a little bit more... Uh, optimized, shall we say, if we're being as polite as possible. Not that this game is programmed super poorly. I mean, it does run, uh, but not all that well sometimes. And there's another eight dislikes. Anyway, we're just going to mash on the space bar. And this should allow us to kill these guys pretty quickly. So far, i got to say thank you to Ninja Man for making a run where basically my right hand can rest so I can use it for other activities later tonight, if you know what I mean. Uh, we're gonna just continue coming down here because I have absolutely no- Continue coming down here. I didn't mean it like that after the other activities comment. Uh, but we, uh, have the Curse of Darkness, so we have basically no means figuring out where we are or where we're supposed to be, so we might as well just wing it, basically. Since- Oh, that was terrible. Just walked right into him. There is, uh, no recourse or no reason to our actions. We do have a- that must be a library, I guess. Here, but obviously, it would be pretty silly of me to replace the shears and absolutely invalidate the conditions of the run so far. So far, the reason we're sticking with this run right now is because we want to see... Te uh, tears up, but I walked over the spikes because I'm an idiot and didn't use the shears, so that was totally worthless. Uh, I want to see if this run is capable of beating Isaac Blue Baby. I had to use the Two of Hearts card there because I got low on health. I probably could have saved it a little bit longer just to see if maybe at some point uh, I could have gotten back to full health naturally, but oh well. It's gone. We'll deal with it. We've got the bloat. This is actually a fairly good setup to be fighting the bloat. I think if you've, if you've got to fight the bloat, then um, 
The ability to fly so you can kind of hang out over some rocks and dodge shots like that. Uh, and the ability to do a lot of crazy damage is very valuable as well. Obviously, Pageant Boy is both A, not applicable to this challenge run, and B, useless anyway. So even if I picked it up, it wouldn't have done too much for us. This is going to be a big floor. Because we are going to be... Uh, I think when, like, Curse of the Lost makes the floor bigger. So I think on the womb... Uh, it, it makes it as big as the cathedral, which is obviously quite large for us right here. We do have a secret room, which we'll check out. I mean, it doesn't really matter. If we get a one-up, I'll just skip it. If we get Epic Fetus, I'll pick it up and just roll around with, like, a sweet monocle. Let's see what we got in here. Well, that's just a lot of money, which I'm not even going to bother to pick up because there is, again, very limited reason to do so, shall we say. So I'm just going to hang out over here. Shears has basically got it all under control. But I still worry that once we get into the chest and the cathedral to a lesser extent, uh, dodging is going to become more difficult, and I'm actually just going to basically die because I don't have enough health. It's it's certainly, it doesn't necessarily appear that that's likely right now, uh, but things change pretty quickly in Isaac sometimes. Uh, and wow, the shears I didn't even realize can kill the turrets before it even exists, uh, or before it even pops up, but yeah, the thing, I, all I have to do is get hit like five or six times on the chest. And that would be the end of this Cinderella run we've got going here. It might even be less because I'm getting hit now. I'm down to four and a half hearts. Game's been pretty good about giving us HP upgrades so far and refilling our existing HP upgrades. But, uh, again, nothing is guaranteed. I always like having uh, some way to replenish my health to kind of encourage success, if you will. So there's, again, more health for us. That's Little Chad is actually, at this point, probably helping us out. And, again, I apologize for that misstep. But again, fairly useless item. So we are making our way through here. Vaginal Silkworm is dead. This could be a useful pill, so I'm going to save it for now, and maybe we'll use it when we get a little lower on health. So basically, I'm just going to send out my minions to kill Loki here. It's me, like Northern Lion, up in his ivory tower, man, just sending the poor boys down to fight his wars. No more blood for oil. We got our own battles to fight on our own soil, Northern Lion. Also... Book of Revelations can sometimes be better than the nail if you get it really early and you want to get a fourth level meat boy, you philistine. Anyway, uh, wouldn't it be great if there was a guy named like Phil Stein? It's kind of like Philistine, and then he could have a show like Win Phil Stein's Money, but the dude was just an idiot, so they're like, what's the capital of the United States of America? And he's like, pizza. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. We don't even need those bombs. I mean, 16 bombs is obviously going to carry us through the rest of the game. I have completely picked all of the wrong directions on this run so far. So, so far so good with respect to that. Mom's Heart is going to be another easy boss fight. I might not have to do any work at all for that one. We're not even going to use bombs because, again, no tears are allowed. There's never explicitly said that no bombs were allowed. However, uh, I don't think we want to use bombs for that fight anyway because the shears are going to kick them back at us. It's going to be a bad time. We will pick that up for sure. And again, the arcade's there. That could be a valuable asset for us. But for now, uh, it's unnecessary, shall we say. Let's knock down these brains. Knock down this Meat Boy wannabe. We got the Joker card, which I can't really use because it would just give us a deal with the devil, which I can't take anyway. Or a deal with the angel at this point. Probably a deal with the angel at this point, quite frankly, considering we've already had two of them so far. And pass them up, which is the most saintly thing we could possibly do, considering they were pretty good. At some point in one of these challenge runs, Sacred Tears is going to show up in a uh, angel room. And that's going to be the moment when my Isaac career comes crashing down in front of me. Okay, so go kill the... You see the brain guy. You went and attacked him earlier. Just go kill him now. There we go. I'm hoping this run doesn't get desync. Sometimes when you get a lot of slowdown, the, the runs desync a little bit. Which is, again, a, a problem endemic to Isaac, not necessarily just my recording setup. So, just lay off, MFers. Gonna pick up. Oh, we don't actually need the health. We got back to full health. Kind of surprising considering my lack of aptitude uh, so far on this floor. That was almost some stupid damage. These champions are taking a surprising amount of hits. They didn't die in like a second and a half like anybody else. They actually took like 1.75 seconds. So I'm gonna do some terrible dodging here to start around these lasers. And I'm just gonna hold on to this pill. You never know. It could be bad gas, but maybe it's full health and it ends up saving my life later. All right, now the the party starts. I'm going to try not to create any more shears just yet because I worry that uh, they're going to lag the game too much. So just come down here. You got it. I'm going to take some damage because I'm a silly boo, I guess. And just going to hang out here. One of the shears has actually been encased in poop. Like Han Solo. Two of them, actually. 
Like Han Solo and Casey Carbonite, I'm gonna use some tears to knock him free there. Didn't actually use the tears to do any damage, so you know, if you got a problem, take it up with a better business bureau or something. There we go. You're dead. I wanna get that heart, but I can't, because it'll take us down to Shoal. We're gonna go up to the cathedral. Do I not? I do have the Polaroid. Why did I think that I didn't? That would have been terrible if I just didn't take the Polaroid for some reason. Wouldn't be the first time, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it would be pretty silly regardless. Please kill the pony. We've only got two guys on him right now. We got two people that refuse to leave my side. Unless I get close to the pony, I guess. There we go. There's some extra health for us. And we're going to continue onwards on the cathedral here. You got your angel fetuses? Well, I got my angel fetuses. Only mine are, are lacking heads and yours have wings and are nightmare fuel. So I guess you win in the whole scheme of things. If only I could have infinite compass to help me figure out where to go. But anyway, whatever. This is going to die in two seconds. I'm pretty sure we're going to succeed here. I think the Isaac fight is going to go fine. Uh, I think the blue baby fight is going to go fine. The one thing I'm worried about is actually getting to either of those. Just wanted to check on that, see if maybe we'd get really lucky. Uh, yeah, sure, we got some extra health there, that's useful. Uh, yeah, the only thing I'm worried about is actually getting to those fights. I think the cathedral is going to be easy enough. Chest might be a little bit more difficult. Uh, and I'm just hanging out over this rock because Gertie Jr. scares the shit out of me. I can't believe that Gertie Jr. is like actually a seller level boss. Like, Gertie Jr. is probably the most difficult enemy in the game uh, with respect to avoiding taking damage. They're fairly easy to kill a lot of the time, uh, but it's almost impossible to avoid taking damage against them in many circumstances. So for that to be a seller level boss is hilarious. Can you imagine booting up Wrath of the Lamb and thinking like, Oh yeah, I'm an Isaac celebrity. Or a superstar, whatever. Are all of my shears trapped? Oh, they're all trying to kill the blue nubs! You fools! There, please just walk over. Okay, cue a meat. That means save me there. Seriously, shears, you're really kind of buttfucking me in this situation. There's like 50 and they're all going after the blue nubs. Okay, they died somehow. In any case, there's a key for me. I was, yeah, thank god I didn't want any spirit hearts anyway. Uh, sure, okay, maybe we've just ruined our chances to beat Isaac. Pill is... Range down. Does nothing for us. Now, this is the ultimate test. I've got to be the world's greatest dodger. I've created like 50 shears. There's going to be a lot of shots being fired pretty quickly. I'm moving around in a circle so these guys actually do go against Isaac. Otherwise, they would just hang out next to me. Isaac didn't even get a chance to do anything here. Okay, so that was a very easy fight, obviously. We've got some lag. That's okay. There's a lot of shit on the screen in case you didn't notice. Now, again, all bets are always off in the chest. Let's see what items we have here that I could possibly use. My best friend is a terrible item, as is Book of Shadows in this situation. As are all of these in this situation, basically. I'll take Guardian Angel, that's okay. Uh, Mr. Mega at least gives us a so sweet helmet. Uh, again, I apologize for using tears here. Otherwise, this would just basically be the end of the run. <laughs> so Shears should actually make this possible. I think these guys killed my last run. And they may actually end up killing this run yet. Uh, but they trapped themselves in their own poop, you silly bastards. Uh, it should allow them to be killed fairly easily. And I'm more skeptical than I used to be about my chances of succeeding here. Also, there's so much blood on the ground that I sort of can't tell uh, what's safe and what's not safe. So again, I think it's totally cool to use the tears to shoot the AIDS poop here. Okay, I'm just gonna summon a few of these guys. And it's gonna be tricky if we actually manage to make it work here. One more hit and I'm dead. Oh, this could be it. Yeah, I got killed by a fly. What did I tell you? Doesn't prioritize threats, man. But in any case, thank you to Soul Ninja for this suggestion. This is an interesting one. A little bit easy uh, at the start, and then things came crashing down. But not in a hail of gunfire as they usually do. Just kind of the world ended with a bang, not a whimper. In any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Continue suggesting your challenge runs. Challenge runs. I will do the ones I deem most entertaining or appropriate, but in any case, Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.